Chinese sausage. Lap sung. It's luxurious. It's sexy. We love this. Noise. Like always. <laughs> Everything. So I just kicked my wok, which is on the left. I should go up because I. Which is great. Oh my god, I just. So we're gonna have to just cut that bit. Yeah. So I'm just gonna come back through with this. Yeah. That was fast. I'm making things worse. Cut into the size of a pomegranate seed. Pomegranate seeds. Of a pomegranate seed. Of a pomegranate seed. Pomegranate seed. Pomegranate granite seeds. Into the size of a pomegranate. So pomegranate seeds. Pomegranate size. <laughs> is it what you're after? Be right back. I'm so happy with that. Welcome back to my channel. Um, a lot of you have been asking about fried rice on my Instagram. It is Khan Ong if you are looking out for it. Um, the link's below as well. Um, so I thought I'll show you a fried rice that I do at home. Um, this is something that I've grown up with. This is Vietnamese style fried rice. It's called um, Gum Jing Yung Jiao, I think it is in Vietnamese. And basically, it's all about all the ingredients being cut into the size of, um, I think it's Ying Jiao because of the area, but I think it's all cut into the size of a pomegranate seed. So whenever I ask mum how we do things, she goes, cut it to pomegranate seeds, which is basically the size of our vegetables. So it's already done for us. Um, I just, I'm just using frozen vegetables. Uh, a lot of people don't like using frozen vegetables. They think it's not as good for you, but a lot of the time it's snap frozen, which means that it keeps all of the vitamins and the nutrients in it. So let's get started. First things first, these guys, dried shrimp, heaven. This is 100% a must. We're gonna just quickly kind of half rehydrate them. So they've still got a little bit of texture, but they're softened a bit. So I've got the dried shrimp there. I'm gonna grab some boiling water and pour it through. A little bit of boiling water. We're gonna leave that covered. Chill out. While that's kind of doing its thing, it's gonna need about, I don't know, 10 minutes, not so long. We're gonna slice an onion. Got my little bowl that I use to put everything in. Um, I might not need a whole onion just because this is less than I would usually make, but we'll see how we go. Half an onion first. Nice little peel. Onion always makes me cry. So the onion is gonna end up being sweated off first along with some oil in a wok. We just want them to be quite nicely softened. And then um, you'll see the Chinese sausage goes in, the vegetables go in, um, the shrimp goes in. And then once that's all beautiful and caramelized, bingo goes the rice and then we finish with egg. Very simple. So nice little rough chop, pomegranate granite seed sized. Oh, also remember, fried rice, don't use newly cooked rice. That's rice that um, I cooked yesterday, so it's overnight rice, it's been sitting in the fridge. What that does is it dries out the rice a little bit so all the kernels can get coated with the oils and the fats really well and just like all the flavors kind of get into it. Really important. All right, we've got our onions chopped up. I actually think that's enough. I don't think I need the other half. So we're gonna go half an onion. These guys, can you see that? Chinese sausage, lap sung is what we call it in Vietnamese. Um, but you usually would know of it as Chinese sausage. Again, cook. we're gonna cut these guys up into the size of a pomegranate. So quartered and then quartered, half. Quartered. So you can see through here, there's a lot of fat that runs through a Chinese sausage. Nearly sliced my finger off, be careful with these guys. Um, there's a lot of fat that runs through a Chinese sausage. And that's really beautiful because once you cook that off with the onion, it not only flavors the rice, but it also creates its own little bit of um, extra oil, extra fat that will help cook all the other ingredients. It's luxurious, it's sexy. We love this. All right, pomegranate seed size. That's that done. That's basically all of our ingredients for this dish. Just the 
onions, the Chinese sausage, the vegetables, the shrimp, and there's gonna be some eggs. Actually, I might as well just mix the egg now while we're waiting for the shrimp to rehydrate. I've got the smallest bowl ever. Um, usually I use two eggs, but these eggs are quite small. So we're gonna use three. This is gonna end up going into the rice at the end. So what you don't wanna do is mix this up too much. I do run a pair of chopsticks, like always, everything. So I just kicked my wok, which is on the ground. A <laughs> um, little bit of a mix, not too much. See how you can still see the whites and the yolk is still separated. We got a little bit, oh, oh my God, it's so foul down the back. Fish sauce. Um, teaspoon. Teaspoon of fish sauce flavours the egg. Nope, we're going to call it two teaspoons. Now that that's done, let's go back to these guys. Yeah, they're soft. So this is, wasn't even 10 minutes, it's more like five, but they're soft enough. That water is hot, it burnt me a little bit, but that's fine. I don't really want to come back to chopping, so I just thought I'd do this first. Um, you can leave it to soak for a little bit further if you do like the shrimp really soft, but a little bit of texture in the shrimp is actually quite nice, especially when you're eating it with everything else because they, um, the sausage becomes crispy and then you've got soft vegetables and then you get the granules of, ri of the rice. This being a little bit hard, not a problem. You don't have to cut this up too rough. Pomegranate size is what you're after. Is some of them a little bit bigger? Whatever. Shrimp's chopped up. Everything's ready to go. We're gonna start cooking. So I'm just gonna move this aside. All right, through the magic of editing, I've got a flame and I've got a wok. Um, the reason why you need to use something like a wok is because fried rice is a quick cook. It needs to be in, out, done, finish, heaven. We don't want it to sit there and stew for too long. You want it to be fast, hot heat. I'm actually gonna tie my hair up. I can't believe I haven't done that earlier. I don't have a hair tie. So, I think someone just walked into the house. We don't know who. Could be a rubber. I might be getting robbed. Let's hope not. <laughs> Hand is washed. You can see that that's smoking. Gorge. We're gonna put a tiny bit of oil in. I'm gonna use grapeseed because it is a neutral oil, but use whatever you want. If you've got veg at home, use that canola, all good, peanut oil. If you're not allergic to peanuts, if you are, don't use it. Nice and hot. In goes your onions. Nice, so this is what I use for the rice. There's a little bit of rice stuck on it, that's fine. Cook the onions off. You just want them to kind of half cook. It's okay, they don't need to be softened. This is whole experience of fried rice is that everything is quickly cooked. So we're gonna give this about 30 or so seconds more, so a minute all up. As you can see, it's starting to go translucent. It's browning a little bit, exactly what we want. It's gonna keep cooking. In goes the sausage, Chinese sausage. Bang. You want the same thing. Give it a little nice mix. The sausage will start to release its fats. I love this smell already. It's quite smoky. Things are starting to really brown. It's getting real gorge. That's pretty much been 15 seconds, so I'm just gonna give it a nice little, and then leave it for another 15, and then in goes to my shrimp. So as you can see, the lap chung has changed its color a little bit. There's caramelized crispy bits. Um, the onion has gotten real deep. In goes the shrimp. That will bring the temperature down a little bit because it, it was soaked in water. Yum. That smells heavy. We don't want to colour that too much because the veggies go in and we're going to keep cooking that as well. So this will also add a little bit of moisture, obviously because vegetables have liquid in them. So that's about 150 grams to 200 grams of the frozen corn, peas and carrot. The sizzling you're, um, you're hearing is the liquid cooking off. I'm gonna leave this there for you. It's gonna keep cooking. 
In goes some of the most important part, the seasoning. Salt. One teaspoon of sea salt. Another half teaspoon of sea salt. Another half teaspoon of sea salt. If you're using any other salt, um, table salt, you'll probably have to use half of that. If you're using pink salt, maybe a teaspoon will do. Um, for Vietnamese fried rice, sugar is very important. It helps the caramelization. Sugar plays a, a very important role in a lot of our cooking. So that is about a teaspoon and a half of sugar. Let's go two. Two teaspoons of sugar. How good does that smell? Yeah, it smells great, doesn't it? And it's like so simple. We haven't seasoned with soy, we haven't seasoned with anything else. It has literally just been salt, sugar, pepper goes in. Two teaspoons of white pepper. One and a half actually. That wasn't definitely not two teaspoons. One and a half. Teaspoons of white pepper. A couple of cup of peppercorns fell in there, that's fine. If you want one of those pepper grinders, again, can't help you. But if you really actually do want me to find it for you, put it into the comments below, ask for it. I'll find a link that will have it and we can have a little bit of fun. Rice goes in. This is about, I think uncooked, 150 to 200 grams. Um, you'll see that there's little bits of dry bits. That's exactly what you want. You want your rice to be dried, not wet. That's all going in. We're gonna break that up, give it a toss. Yum. Hello. Why is this so sexy? <laughs> Fried rice is sexy, okay? All right. Now, really important thing. Move this aside. Move that aside. We're gonna go in with the eggs. There was definitely some fish sauce in the eggs. And with the eggs, I don't use the spoon. I'm gonna just mix it with chopsticks. What you wanna do is, that's fine. If rice falls in, not a problem. What you wanna do is kind of just break up that egg, scramble it if you must. Once that's cooked, yep, scrape the bottom up. We switched over. You, you do really want to scramble your eggs. Nice, scrambly, gorgeous, silky eggs. Mix it through. Whoop! We lost a little bit. I'm gonna actually have a little taste test for you guys. Let's give this a go. Oh, it's perfect. I don't need to do anything. <laughs> So, half a tablespoon of sugar is gonna go in. Ah, oh, teaspoon, sorry. Mm, let's make it a full teaspoon. I also forgot, but this can go in now, it's fine. Chicken Beyond Powder, we're gonna go one teaspoon. These are quite small, so one teaspoon of that will go in. Nice, that's looking gorge. Scrape the charry bits of egg off, because that's just gonna be extra delicious. Yum. Let me just give this another taste. Sweet, salty, a little bit smoky. Pepper's definitely there, nice little kick. You don't like pepper? Take it down by half a teaspoon, but I love this. The recipe's gonna be underneath, so I know that I keep chopping and changing, but you have the set recipe underneath, so chill. But this is basically done. Like, I can turn this off. I'm serving in something that looks like I might have cooked in it. It is a little pan slash serving dish. I don't think you're supposed to cook it. I'm pretty sure it's a serving dish that um, Salt and Pepper, shout out to them, um, actually sent to me. The owners are beautiful. They're amazing. Hello, Harry. Um, love you, Amarillo. Um, Morella, sorry. Um, yeah, met them in Mykonos. We were partying together. They're incredible people, always looking after me. But we're gonna serve this dish up in this little cute wok that they have. So here you've got my Vietnamese styled fried rice or gim jing yung chow. Um, it's something that I've grown up eating. It's so fast, it's so easy, but it's so delicious. 
give it a go yourself. Let me know below um, how I'm going with YouTube because I'm relatively new here. Um, tell me what other recipes you would like to see from me and if you have other versions of fried rice that you want me to try out, tell me there as well. But remember, subscribe, like and comment and I'll see you next time. Cheers.